Organizations need to transform IT support to provide a frictionless experience where technology just works. Organizations eager to recruit the best talent have already begun shifting their view of the role of technology in the workplace. In the next session on Connected Ecosystem for Frictionless Experience by Mr. Venugopal S. Arcott, Senior Director, Solution Consulting, ServiceNow, will tell us how ServiceNow has been exploring what it means to provide a frictionless experience to our employees. Over to you, Mr. Arcott. Warm welcome to all of you. Thank you for joining this session on Connected Ecosystem for Frictionless Experience, the new future of work for the retail industry. I'm Venu Gopal Arkot, Senior Director, Solution Consulting at ServiceNow. Before I get into the subject of the retail itself, I want to just step back and analyze the then now frameworks. What's changed and how to understand this new future? The world of work has become the driving force, but it is redefined by the where of work. The space of work, both physically and geographically, are changing. Embracing a dry hybrid model to reimagining the physical spaces or need of the hour, the space has become sacred. The distance between people are looked upon in a laser scanning eyes. The when of work the schedule and timeline and the cadence of around it has also changed in many ways. From nine to five, the life has moved to five to nine, in some cases, even 24 bar seven. And people are seeking Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi freedom. The who of work, the persona who's performing the work is changed many with different dimensions into combinatorial skills in terms of reaching air access to places where there was no access to. These are cutting across generational divides and the reskilling of the workforce is need of the hour because people have to use certain technologies to reach spaces, to reach and perform work. Last but not the least, the what of work. The tools and systems and processes that enable work, automation of manual work, because all the contact points need to be contactless, rapid adapting to AI and building a robust infrastructure. And that's the need of this title also, is between a connected enterprise leads to friction, but making that connected contactless removes the friction and hence it's called frictionless. The next is the most important supply chain. It's critical to connect the dots here. The evolution of the retail supply chain is because of inefficient and manual processes, not optimized for economic growth because the connection matters and connection starts to fail. And failing in many different ways when a shipping is coming and there is nobody to pick up the shipment because of lack of people available, because of migration you see in this worker community. No single source of information and unified workflow, inefficient and manual process, and retail store now on additional link in supply chain requiring optimization and training. The next is about the most important parameter of human resources. The fast changing workforce and workplace that results in high turnover and seasonal workforce. This requires faster onboarding and training because there was the changes in the regulatory are also enforcing in terms of how the workforce need to change and adopt to the newer ways of working. Limited visibility and support points to employees in store and including franchises are one of the drivers. Inefficient interactions and shared support services often relying on high manual medium of phone and email, causing loss of disruption and communication breakdowns, thereby leading to customer dissatisfaction. Last but not the least is the IT backbone. Sometimes it's called the brains. The top performing retailers in 2020 were already investing heavily prior to the pandemic, especially in view of PIS curbside, which means that they had the advantage when the lockdown happened and they were able to get on board. 67% of the consumers have indicated that they plan to stay with at least some new purchase behaviors long-term. And 76% said retail executives plan to accelerate inverse investment in technology. These are some of the areas in terms of the changes that's affecting the uh, retail industry itself. 
I just want to re reflect on another important area, which is retailers should prepare for lasting behaviors. One of the point I mentioned and post COVID world also. In this COVID, we, there is a lot of behavioral changes that have happened. Automation in the space of procurement, logistics, finance, which are related to the entire retail industry, but these are these were not so important to get into the conversion to manual and retail. But during this time, this space of automating this space has accelerated. 76% of retail executive plan to accelerate investment in technology. 46% of retail executives plan to invest in technology and solutions to support employees. And 67% of consumers say that they plan to stay with their adopted pandemic behaviors. What do those pandemic behaviors mean? Pandemic behaviors mean that the wastages are reduced, the leakages are reduced, the inefficiencies are reduced. And these inefficiencies are coming in the areas where the work was flowing and there was a little bit of friction. Friction in terms of picking up and there was no people around to pick up. And the truck was moving, you don't know where the truck is currently. And when the truck comes to the office uh, or the factory, there was no proper chalan. Automating and digitizing all of these aspects and making contact into contact lists or the efficiency parameters that you see. The next is in terms of some of the examples. We talked about some of the examples in the previous slide in terms of how it's affecting in the different channels of IT consumers. Let me just deep down into the areas of store franchises support, customer loyalty, vendor management, employee workflow, and store asset management. Now, store operations and consumer services is critical for retail, where to speed up better and manage the request from the stores, as well as including some new technologies as like AI and ML that bring the in, uh, human uh, into, into the technology itself, uh, embedding human into a technology in a way through those chatbot conversations, making it personal through this intelligent uh, routing of some requests that are coming or possibly a complaints or some information that needs to be passed. Post store updates and changes to store portals to simplify communication. These are some of the areas in the store and franchise support. The next area is in the area of customer and loyalty management. Here is where the customer experience is maximized. Streamlining customer service availability ability to respond to customer needs. These are in various forms like loyalty programs, service issues, membership status, states, status, and providing certain perks in terms of the continued buying model and process that the consumer shows uh, from a buying pattern point of view. AI chatbot, again, with these capabilities, provides a live agent experience and reducing thereby the volume of calls that come to the call center, which invariably means that there is more efficient work that can be done towards automating the entire space of the store management itself. The next is about vendor portal. Vendor portal is a very important window for connecting the vendor. The supply chain management, the vendor plays a very important role, connecting the consumer on one side, the contact points on the middle, and last but not less, the distributor and the vendor itself. Self-servicing of vendor uh, plays a very important role, including registration of new vendor uh, in line with the risk and risk and compliance and regulatory needs of the industry itself. Streamline onboarding of new vendors and adding details of vendor products along with the risk parameters that are associated in terms of vendors buying, where taxation process, vendors history of payments, and many other dimensions associated with the regulatory needs. Uh, and last but not the least, integrating directly with the vendor systems, which requires seamless integration of the systems of record, like the ERPs of the world. When a vendor is registered and a purchase order is raised against the vendor, there is a complete interaction. But what is important is an experience that leaves behind. And that is a seamless experience. When engagement happens to the connected operations between different systems and connecting with the last smile, the systems of record. The next is the people. People are important in many different ways and they are the driving force. And in giving them the best of the experience from onboarding to offboarding and sometimes switchboarding is a very important area. And last but not the least, if there is an exit process, how do you make those exit process easier? Do we need to focus on multiple tools right from planning 
to requisition, to managing the human capital management system, to training, background checks, and the exit process in alumni management. The entire process consists of 20 plus tools. How do we ensure that those functions are given a better experience not, not having multiple skills to operate, but giving a better experience to connect with and respond. Onboarding of new group or store employees with focus on pre-boarding phase. You may remember some of these stores may have certain aspects of specialized training that would be required and applications on regular interactions with collaborator and the digitization of the administrative process, which means that whatever is manual in the store, how do you, how do you automate those processes itself? And then last but not the least, in terms of anticipating or boarding with IT process that is required so that the availability, the capacity that is required when a footfall increases or decreases so that you can scale up and scale down the capacity itself. Lastly, asset management plays a very important role. Asset is the wealth that the store owns, the company owns. How do you ensure that those assets are available, tracked, and if any problem associated with the assets in terms of unavailability or any issues related to the asset itself, how do you ensure that those are communicated to the stakeholders? Uh, how do we ensure that mobile access are provided to the employees managing those stores so that there is a complete collaboration happens online, offline the grid, but access happens and communication happens seamlessly. These are some of the examples with which ServiceNow plays a very important role in accelerating, bringing efficiency, reducing the leakages, and increasing productivity. How do we do that? Service excellence value proposition is end-to-end -end connection. And that's where end-to-end -end connection, connecting the retail operations, the back office, the corporate support, in a seamless case resolutions originating from customer services. Most of this are left behind saying that, let me come back to you with 24 hours or 48 hours of time. It's the, those, those days have gone by. It's important that the agent who sees the customer problem much ahead of the customer sees, probably they're putting it on a social media or somewhere, but capturing that and having the diagnostics window and the remedial window and possibly and providing an opportunity for the customer after resolution to see if there is something more that they can do with. These are some of the opportunity that this current generation and era offers by doing an end-to-end -end resolution of workflows. The next has been proactive, monitoring, I didn't monitor, identify and create cases as indicated across retail locations and supply chain reach the thresholds and inform frontline workers and customer buying decisions. When the stocks are going down, when the issue is going to come up beyond a threshold, how do we ensure that the last mile connect happens seamlessly, not by just somebody saying, but being able to monitor that in a real time? Is in uh, IoT and other integrations plays a very important role in terms of monitoring capabilities and providing that information and channeling through the field management team to resolve and provide uh, alternate solutions. Last but not the least is self-service. Self-service provides the ability to self-serve one's own need. And that need has to be more intuitive, most collaborative that I get the information what I need, but also get beyond what I need because there may be selling points that are associated. Empowering self-service is one other important point. The next is about self-service excellence operation is customer excellence and leveraging the power of the platform from customer service management and through IT integrations plays a very important fabric in terms of determining customer needs are managed. When customer excellence operations works on A, meeting service expectations by providing omni-channel. And this omni-channel should be in terms of conversing in different languages, using NLP and targeted communication in terms of providing what is necessary. Probably it's a festival season and we would want to give certain means while somebody is accessing the channel. The next is providing portals for the reaching out. In violent portals, you get a menu of the services that are associated and information about the menu and how to access and by what time they would get. Reducing friction is preventing proactively trigger cases for investigation based on system set flags. 
Some of the complaints that you receive could be a regular complaint and that requires certain level of discussions with different stakeholders and partners to resolve taking it as an issue that needs to be addressed. And some of them are related to monitoring and inventory levels, but essentially looking at this proactively and preventing a major issue that could possibly cause a business disruption. This reduces friction. Last but not the least is about cases. How do we ensure that cases are addressed in a way that it improves the NPS and the CSAT score? And that means that customer success is our success. So in intake and resolution of cases that may require complex workflow to resolve, approval, order tracking, and not just that order tracking, it's, these are not just expressions. It is a workflow that is involved from requisitions to approval on one end, but they integrate with so many systems to update and seek information at the same time in real time. And hence, the efficiency of connecting end to end becomes much more relevant here. And that's where this platform, as a platform of platform, makes an important proposition. Now, service excellence value realization is all about certain solutions, certain challenges, and the outcomes of it. The challenges typically uh, in this industry, which has evolved in the last couple of uh, years with the GST evolution, legacy systems have not been able to scale up. They are not built for cross-functional case management or not be built for cross-functional behavior of work flowing. Customer expectations are higher and higher. Lack of integrations with these kind of back office and is, is, is creating a lot of friction and inefficient portals and sufficient portals, lack of ways to reduce friction for customers to get the service they require. And what is the solution? Integrating with existing core systems end-to-end exception, investigation case management, single platform to breaking down silos, embedded knowledge so that self-service becomes easier, digitizing and accelerating the service delivery through connected digital workflows and integrating of engagement and the back office layer, giving an end-to-end -end view. Last but not the least, integration with IT. IT provides the availability and hence, if any system that is a customer is not able to access, and now that we have opened up a channel where customer can request and trade using the online platform, there is an IT backbone that supports it. And if the IT backbone is not known proactively or predictably, this customer agent is not going to help much. So the IT backbone connection makes this business availability much more easier. The realized outcome is significant in those forms because it's not just cutting, cutting across a customer relationship in managing and telling that I am with you, I know you, but I'm going to tell him that I am going to solve through this area, trackable real-time status reporting, reducing operational costs through automation and digitization across the multiple process and cross-functional platforms, faster resolution of times, leading to great NPS and CSAT scores, deflection of self-service wherever possible and improving service outcome due to proactive resolution and notification. And this is a slide in terms of how, how the service now presents itself in solving these problems. In different pillars, customer workflow, in terms of whether it's a store operations or services, which is the customer facing services and the supply chain and vendor management systems. These are all external entities that are supporting the customer success. How do we ensure equipment maintenance? How do we ensure facilities management, proactive pricing, so sales and promotions that are involved, loyalty programs, vendor onboarding, restock request management, all of them a possibility. Workforce engagement is employee engagement, worker health safe workplace applications plays a very important role because safety of the workers is also important for safety of customers because they are going and meeting customers to do some field work. So ensuring that their health are here healthy, the contact tracing, the safety practices, availability of PPE kits, and knowing where they are going and the touch points they have allows us to track and trace and inform the regulatories. Onboarding, offboarding, we talked about of employees, contractors, and seasonal employees. IT services involves IT workflows and processes, reducing manual workflows in the IT, which means that avoiding outages, proactive service management, knowledge management, asset management, both hardware and software, and last but not the least, the next part is in terms of the IT security and risk. Security plays a very important in dealing with customers, employees, and the service we deliver. Security also provides as an opportunity to manage risks across. 
because each and every touch point that conversation that we've done at a customer facing the vendor facing and internal employee and some of the work that we are doing internally within the it systems requires there is a touch point there is an activity done ability to capture all of these touch points in one single platform provides us to embed risk within the platform and that is the power of service now customer workflows employee workflow technology workflow security and risk workflows when embedded within the platform in making our customer success is all that matters this is a platform connecting the value chain on a system of action thank you very much it's been a pleasure doing this session wish you all the very best Thank you, Mr. Arcot, for sharing some initiatives of service now for a frictionless experience.